This is Five on Your Side at Five, focused on you. This weekend, millions of people are driving or flying for Memorial Day, and tonight there's a plan to make St. Louis Lambert Airport easier to navigate for travelers. While there's no agreement yet, officially, this week the Federal Aviation Administration approved the master plan to create one terminal instead of two. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Kelly Jackson. All of this would happen over the next decade or so. Elise Shonick joins us live from the airport with more details. Elise. All right, St. Louis natives and airport users, I want you to imagine if every airline was in one terminal and if there were thousands more parking spots for whenever you come here. I know it sounds like a dream, but if those plans are officially approved, it'll be on a fast track to becoming reality. Airports are fueled by people's stories. I'll be here for another two months, uh, Memorial Day weekend, so time to go have a good time and then, you know, come back and finish up. Here's Benjamin Douglas's chapter. He's been flying in and out of St. Louis for basic training. I had to go to Southwest, so I'm like, oh, where is it? Like many of Lambert's passengers, he's been caught up in the chaos of the terminals. It's much more efficient to have a single terminal, especially for people that aren't from St. Louis. The airport's leader, Ron Deham Nabrigi, says their plan would help passengers like Douglas. One of the challenges we know we have today is that your decision making is a very short window, especially if you're coming into Terminal 2. The plan would bring all airlines into Terminal 1, add thousands of parking spots and spaces for restaurants and retail. It's a great opportunity to really put us in place for decades to come. Hamnabrigi says they're still negotiating with airlines, but they hope to move forward. Yeah, I definitely think it'd be a lot better and a lot easier for the, them to move southwest over here with all the other ones. Douglas says he supports the consolidation and the thought of walking just a little less. It makes sense because it is a struggle to get to the other side. Airports carry millions of stories. This could be St. Louis Lambert International's next chapter. Now, while those airline negotiations continue, there are also two uh, environmental plans that uh, this plan would have to then pass in order for it to actually become official. So a lot could potentially change here, but one thing I can tell you that'll stay the same would be the airport's historic domes. But for now, we are reporting live here from the St. Louis Lambert International Airport. Elise Schoenig, five on your side.